Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be a fun one because we are going to be playing with the new, not so new anymore, ColourPop All the Buzz palette. I got, or palettes, I got the entire collection. It comes with three palettes, three Super Shock Shadow Duos, three mini Soul Body Highlighters, and three Lux Lip Glosses. I did not get a chance to film this. I think I received this in PR about like three weeks ago and I totally intended on filming something with it. But as a lot of you know, I got married and that was taking up a lot of my time up until the wedding. And then at my wedding, I got COVID. So I'm finally starting to feel better. I'm coming out of my isolation, coming out of my hibernation a little bit. So I feel good enough to do some swatches, do my makeup and hang out with you guys a little bit. That being said, I'm only gonna do one video. I was gonna do three separate videos, one on each collection, and I was gonna dupe each palette with stuff I already had from ColourPop, but I'll be honest, duping is a lot of work and I just don't really have the energy to do that right now. COVID kind of kicked my ass. I said it wasn't that bad in my previous video. I spoke way too soon. So this video actually does contain a giveaway. If you follow my channel at all, you know that the Lux lip gloss formula just doesn't work out for me. But I know a lot of people do really enjoy them, including a lot of my followers. So I am gonna show you the colors of the glosses really quickly. This is the one from the Glow Getter set, and it is the shade Gleam On. Oh, kind of like Dream On. It's like a uh, peachy nude with some pink and gold sparkle. So pretty. It kind of reminds me of like a MAC plush glass that I really enjoyed back in the day. Uh, I think it was called Posh It Up. That was like my go-to in high school. I went through like three of those. So yeah, this is the shade Gleam On and oh, it's a lip oil. I thought these were Lux glosses. Do I still want to keep them though? I have a lot of Lux lip oils. Uh, you know what? I'm still going to give them away. I have too many and these are really beautiful. Don't get me wrong. And I do really like the Lux oil formula. I thought these were Lux glosses. So that's why I was originally going to give them away, but I have so many Lux lip oils and they all kind of look similar. So yeah. This one is in the shade Emperor and it's from the Dragonfly part of the collection. It's like a shimmery nude-ish color. And then finally, the one for the Wannabe collection is the shade Comb By and it is a bright pink with gold shimmer. That one's so beautiful. I bet this one's gonna be awesome. So I'm actually gonna give all three of these lip oils away to one person. All you have to do to enter this giveaway is be a subscriber. So hit the subscribe button down below and leave a comment on this video stating which of the three shades is your favorite. And honestly, I don't know how to pick a giveaway winner on YouTube. I figured it out for Instagram, but I've never done a giveaway on YouTube. So this will be open internationally. So let's say a week from when I upload this video, I don't know when I'm gonna upload this video. So a week from uploading will be the cutoff date, just to give me some time to like figure out how to do it and how to fairly pick a winner. And yeah, you can win three little oils. I just have too many of them. I do really like the formula though. It's super hydrating and nice. I'll go by each mini collection and I will go ahead and swatch everything for you. And yeah, let's get into that. So let's first start out with the Glow Getter palette. I don't know why, but this one just speaks to me the most. So we're gonna start with this one. I'm just gonna swatch them on my hand since they are little nine pan palettes. The first shade we have here is called Signal and ColourPop describes this one as a muted warm beige. I'll be honest and say, I think it's more of a muted mauve. Really pretty still. Next up, we have the shade Flame Fatale, and this is described as a metallic soft yellow. Then we have the shade Dimmer, and ColourPop describes this one as a warm peachy nude. Then we have the shade Glow Worm, and ColourPop describes this one as a metallic icy light blue with green gold duochrome flip. I would say the duochrome is not very intense in this shade. It's kind of just like a really light aqua shade. Then we have the shade Flashlight and ColourPop describes this one as a metallic icy soft blue silver. I almost see like a gold flip to this one. I personally wouldn't say it's an ice blue silver. Next up we have the shade Flare and ColourPop describes this one as a matte light brown. Then in the final row we have a shade that we see quite often from ColourPop. I could dupe this a million times over. This is the shade sundown and it is described as a matte chocolate brown with gold pinpoints then we have the shade flicker and ColourPop describes this one as a metallic deep 
bronze. And lastly, we have the shade Night Night, and ColourPop describes this one is a matte muted charcoal. This one almost has some blue to it, in my opinion. So this is what the entire Glow Getter palette looks like. I do enjoy the color story. I think it's pretty. Okay, and the Glow Getter mini collection also comes with two little super shocks. They come as a duo. So this little duo is called Glowing Strong. Super cute. The first shade we have here is called Ember, and it is described as a pale icy teal with silver flecks. So reflective and pretty. And then the other shade is called Up Late, and it is a nude with blue and green flecks. I really hope the blue-green sparkle will come through on camera. I really hope so. It's super prominent in person and it's really beautiful. Okay, and lastly we have the shade Starlight and this is a soul body shimmering body powder. It's a mini. I just want to point out before I forget, these are very heavily fragranced. They are meant for your body. You can use them on your face, but if your face is sensitive to fragrance, I would highly recommend you don't do that. It's supposed to be a subtle tropical coconut aroma. So this is the shade. It's a little bit crumbly. Um, this is Starlight and ColourPop describes it as a metallic soft gold with a silver duochrome effect. It's very pretty, but I think it might be too dark for my skin tone. You can see when the highlighter is not hitting the light, it kind of casts a shadow. So I think this would be too dark for me, but I wanted to show you anyway. The highlighter retails for $12. It is cruelty free and vegan. The Super Shock Shadow Duo retails for $10 and it's a $12 value because these are $6 each. These are also cruelty free and vegan. And lastly, the eyeshadow palette retails for $14 and it is cruelty free, but it is not vegan. So that is the glow getter collection and now let's move on to the so fly collection so this is the so fly palette very pretty as well this one is cruelty free and vegan so the first shade we have here is called flight path and ColourPop describes this one as an icy warm champagne the formula on this one was a little bit crumbly, not quite as smooth as their previous formulas lately. Next up we have the shade Sky Dive, and ColourPop describes this one as a cool soft rose gold. Very pretty, very light rose gold in my opinion. Then we have the shade Dragon Tail, and ColourPop describes this one as a cool light mauve. The formula on this one is super duper creamy. Next up we have the shade Speedy, and ColourPop describes this one as an icy coral. It has a lot of silver pinpoint glitter in it. Then we have the shade FYI and ColourPop describes this one as a dark rose with a green gold shift. I would say that the shift on this one is quite strong. You can really see the duochrome. And lastly in this row we have the shade Colorful and ColourPop describes this one as a bright coral. Next up we have the shade Depart and ColourPop describes this one as a warm chocolate brown. Then we have the shade Wingtip and ColourPop describes this as a mid-tone teal. And lastly in this palette we have the shade Damn Fly and ColourPop describes this one as a dark chocolate brown. I would almost say it's a dark cool toned brown. And this is the entire palette swatched out. The mattes in this one are especially creamy. Uh, the shimmers are okay. So then we have a Super Shock Duo for this collection as well. This one came a little bit broken but I kind of pressed it back in because ColourPop Super Shocks are so creamy. Oh these two shades are permanent. I recognize them and I think I might have them already. I definitely have this one. Maybe I'll give this one away. It doesn't make sense to have duplicates. I haven't touched this one yet, but I definitely did touch this one. I'm gonna go check my drawer and see if I still have it. Hopefully I do. They're called the same thing, but they look significantly different. They're not the same shade. This is Mint For You which is from the Mint to Be collection. Mint for you, like the letter U. And this is what it looks like. This is the one I was thinking of that I already have in my collection. And then this is the shade Mint for You, spelled Y-O-U. I can't tell, what do you guys think? I feel like this one's lighter. Okay, I gotta know if they're the same. So I'm gonna touch this one, I'm not gonna give it away. So this is the shade Mint For You from the Dragonfly collection. And then this is Mint For You from the Mint To Be collection. I don't know, you tell me, do you think they're the same? I think they're close enough, like I didn't need both. And honestly, this one's kind of dried out anyways, so I might just replace this one with the new one. I don't think I have this one in my collection though. This is the shade Ladybird. So this right here is the shade Ladybird and it's so beautiful. It's been on my list for a while, so I'm happy to have it. It's described as a soft ivory with multi-dimensional silver glitter. Super pretty, love that. Also, this little duo is both cruelty-free 
and vegan as well, just like the palette. And for the highlighter for this collection, this is the shade Bronze Hour. This is it swatched out and it's definitely gonna be too deep for me. Colourpop describes it as a metallic soft gold with a baby pink duochrome effect. I would say it's almost a rose gold with pink shift. You can definitely see the pink when it hits the light. And this shade is also cruelty free and vegan. Okay, and lastly, we have the Wannabe collection, which is obviously the bee themed one. Okay, so the first shade in the palette is called Pollen For You, which is adorable. And ColourPop describes this as a matte pale yellow. I would personally describe this more as a matte pale nude. It just doesn't really have a lot of yellow to it, in my opinion. Next up, we have a shade that ColourPop launches quite frequently. This is the shade Honeycomb, and ColourPop describes it as a metallic soft tangerine. I would call it a metallic peach with gold flip. The next shade we have here is called 2B and Colourpop describes this one as a matte soft yellow. Next up we have the shade Buzzed and Colourpop describes this as a matte tangerine. I would definitely not say that it's as bright as a tangerine but it definitely does have an orange hue to it. Next up we have the shade Sweet Much and Colourpop describes this one as a metallic yellow gold. I'm gonna compare it to the pale gold in the Glow Getter palette. So these are the two shades compared. This is the shade Flame Fatale from the Glow Getter palette and then this is the shade Sweet Much which is from the Wannabe palette. I just wanted to compare the two because if you're looking at them separately, you might think that they're similar. Um, and I know that these palettes come in a trio, so I'm sure some people wanted to see them compared. So that's them compared. They aren't as similar as you might think. Next up, we have the shade Worker Bee, and ColourPop describes this one as a matte saddle brown. And then this is the shade OB Hive. So funny. And then ColourPop describes this one as a metallic copper. The formula on this one was actually quite rough, so I checked to see if it was suitable for the eye area, and it is. I thought it wouldn't be because it feels so rough because of the glitter specs, but it is apparently approved for the eye area. Then we have the shade So Nectar, and ColourPop describes this one as a metallic warm orange with a gold duochrome shift. I would say it's very similar to the shade at the top called Honeycomb, but it just is a little bit deeper and a bit of a brighter orange base. And lastly, we have the shade Beezy, and ColourPop describes this one as a matte rich chocolate. And this is the entire wannabe palette swatched out. Really pretty, but I'd say fairly dupable if you have an extensive ColourPop collection already. Also, this palette is cruelty free, but it is not vegan. And then it comes with this little super shock duo, which is called can you be leave? Very cute. They always have such cute names. The first shade is called In Harmony. So this is the shade In Harmony and Colourpop describes this one as a yellow gold. And then the next shade is called 6am and Colourpop describes this one as a soft coral with a golden sheen. The flip on this one isn't super intense. Honestly, if you're interested in that shade, I would just say go with the palette. I wouldn't buy both if I were you. I just, I feel like this coral is already in the palette, you know? And lastly, we have the highlighter that is called Wildflower Honey, and surprise, surprise, it's like a peachy gold. So that's what that looks like. I would almost say it's like a pinky rose gold base with a strong gold flip. Really pretty, but would not suit my skin tone. And yeah, those are all three collections. I actually don't really have any highlighter on. I just have a little bit of glowy blush. So I'm gonna take this shade called Starlight. It's the lightest one. So I feel like it's gonna provide the best results. Apply a little bit on my cheekbone. It's very intense. Oh God. Just gonna blend it out a little bit with the sponge. I thought I was being light-handed, but apparently not. And see how intense those are. I guess they are technically meant for your body, so. I mean, it is pretty. It's just very intense. Um, yeah, so those are all three collections. Uh, they also come with the Luxe Lip Oils. I'm not gonna swatch those because I am giving them away, as you guys know. And yeah, if you wanna see how I achieved this look with all three palettes, then you can just keep on watching. Okay, my friends, let's get into a little look. I did a look on my Instagram using the Glow Getter palette. I kind of used like this little quad and I think this shade as well. So yeah, that one is pretty. Um, I'm also kind of drawn to this one right now, which is so fly. This is like the dragonfly one. I don't know, it's just kind of speaking to me. And then this is the wannabe palette, which speaks probably the least to me because it's just neutrals and warm tones. Um, not to say that that's bad. It's just like the least unique in my opinion. So I'm not too sure what direction I wanna do. Honestly, my favorite still is this color story because I think it is the most unique. 
Um, this is the glow getter one. I guess it's like the firefly one, but I do kind of want to challenge myself and use as many colors as possible. So that being said, I still have no idea what I want to do. Let's just start. Usually once I get going and get into the groove, I can kind of, you know, visualize what I want to do. I'm trying this thing where I like, I'm kinder to myself, you know, and like don't force myself to do things that I'm not even that I don't feel like doing, but like just don't feel up to doing, you know, there's a difference. Okay. I think I have like a idea that I'm kind of wanting to go for, maybe, potentially. I'm gonna go in with this shade first from the So Fly palette, this bright coral that's super pretty. It's called Colorful, which makes sense. So I'm gonna take this on a Beauty Bay 204 brush. I'm actually gonna use one of these cute little mirrors that come with the highlighters. So I'm just loading up that coral shade onto that brush and I'm going to just put it in my crease. If you guys want to see like individual looks on each of these palettes slash collections, I can certainly do that. I was going to do an individual video on each collection and do like dupes and stuff, but I just, I couldn't handle it. So I was like, let's just do one bigger video. I asked on my posts what you guys would prefer and it was pretty split down the middle anyways so wasn't super helpful to like determine what you guys actually wanted thank you if you provided your input that was super helpful it was just split right down the middle so okay so that color is laid down now where do i want to go with this i think i'm going to dip into the wannabe palette whenever i see this palette i sing i'm a bee by the black eyed peas anyway uh, i'm gonna go into this like deep reddish brown called Beezy. And I'm just going to place this on the outer corner. I don't have the brain capacity to do something super creative, so please bear with me if this is kind of a mediocre look. I'm just gonna kind of wing it out also. But yeah, in my last video, which was um, on the Beauty Bay and Jade Therwall palette, I think that's her name, I said COVID wasn't that bad. I spoke too soon. I spoke way too soon. Honestly, like I feel worse now than I did like when I was actively contagious and infected. Love that for me. I'm gonna take some of my Urban Decay pressed powder and just set my brow bone with this. But yeah, it's not even like the cold symptoms. Like you can hear it in my voice. I still have like a bit of a raspier voice than usual and stuff. I don't really have that strong of cold symptoms and I never really did, but now it's like the brain fog, the tiredness, the headaches, dizziness, like it's, yeah, it's really affecting me, which is so annoying because at first I was like, oh, I need to relax and stuff, but now I'm starting to get antsy and all I wanna do is like go back to work, get some exercise, like run my own errands and I just can't. And it's really frustrating. Like my body physically won't really let me, like I almost passed out in Walmart yesterday and that was scary. I'm just uh, taking that coral shade again and kind of blending it upwards. Can you guys tell I'm ready for spring? I say it all the time, but spring is my favorite season. It just like gives me like hope. I guess hope for my mental health because winters are often <laughs> really hard on me. Okay, now I gotta decide what I wanna do for my lids. Hmm. That's the tricky part. I was swatching these. Honestly, I was a little disappointed in the shimmers, which I found interesting. I was hoping that I could take a couple from these palettes and put them in my kit, specifically the shimmers. I just feel like the shimmers are not nearly as reflective. And I don't know if that's just me or the fact that I was just playing with beauty Bay shadows, which honestly feel like ColourPop Super Shocks, they're shimmers. So I don't know if I like experienced that and then came back to these and was disappointed, but these shimmers are just like not my favorite. And I'm wondering if I go back and like swatch more ColourPop, like just plain single shimmers, if I would feel the same way or if it's just this collection. I'm just cutting my crease just a little bit. I have been cutting the crease just to get the shimmers to stick and then kind of blending it out. And I've been really enjoying that look of like a less harsh, cut crease. Okay, I'm gonna go into this shade. This wasn't my original plan. I'm gonna go into this light yellow shade called Flame Fatale. My original plan was to go into that teal called Glow Worm just for something different, but I haven't really used this shade yet. Even in my previous look, I didn't really use it. So I thought that might be fun to have like a goldy peachy vibe. And again, I'm just gonna take this kind of where the concealer ends and just kind of like buff that edge a little bit. And then I like to go in with just my blending brush. I don't add any additional product and just kind of soften that. I just kind of go back and forth until it's like nice and soft. Kind of like that. I just feel like it's softer. 
imagine that. I was originally gonna go in with this pinkier shade here called Skydive, but I kind of feel like I wanna do this. The shade FYI, it's like a duochrome shade. Oh, that's pretty. I am happy with that decision. And maybe I'll put a little bit of that glow worm right on the center because this kind of flashes teal. I'm definitely gonna go into a little more of that flame fatale shade and just kind of add it on that transition there where the two shades kind of meet. And then I am gonna go into a little bit of glow worm, just that really light teal. This might be a mistake, but we'll try it. I don't love that, but like, it wasn't the worst decision I could have made, you know? Then for eyeliner, I'm going to go in with my KVD Tattoo Liner. I don't know if I wanna do a wing or not. I kinda like this shape that I created, like this kind of strong V. Line the eyes, and I think when I get to the outer corner, I might add a bit more of that brown shade to kind of make it a little more smudgy. Actually, I might bring it all along the lash line and make it more smudgy, but I just kind of wanted to add down this dark base so it's like a really deep lash line. Then I'm gonna take a little smudger brush. This is a Sigma E20 that I've had since I was literally 15 years old. This brush has been through it with me. And I'm just taking that uh, deep red brown called BZ. I ended up doing this on my wedding day, except for with a black eyeshadow. I went for a soft smudged look. I thought for sure I was gonna go for a sharp cat eye, but that's just not what ended up happening. I knew I was gonna cry a lot, so I just decided against it. Okay, so I am going to pop off camera and I'm going to add some mascara and lashes, probably do the rest of my face. I might add some super shock shadows on top, but I will film that part if I decide to do that. Um, and then I will come back and we can apply highlighter and I can tell you my final thoughts on this collection Okay, my friends and just a few final thoughts before I wrap things up as for the eyeshadow palettes I think honestly the quality is kind of mediocre. The color stories are pretty I don't think you'd be disappointed in the quality like it's not bad per se But I have seen better from ColourPop especially in their shimmer formula These shimmers are just a little bit dry and not quite as pigmented as I would be expecting from ColourPop And they're also not as reflective the super Shocks. You can't go wrong with a super shock shadow. They're so beautiful. They're awesome. As for the soul body highlighters, they're okay. I personally don't see myself getting a ton of use out of them uh, because they are fragranced. They are pretty. Only this one would work for me um, probably in the summer as well. The other two I could only use as eyeshadows, but since they are fragranced, I don't really feel comfortable putting them on my eye area and I won't use these on my body. So if you think that you'll use a body highlighter, I would say definitely these are awesome. If you see them more as like a face or eyeshadow thing, then I would just pick up like a regular Super Shock highlighter instead of going for like the soul body one because the Super Shock highlighter won't have fragrance in them and then you can use them like all over your face without any concerns if you don't have any issue with fragrance then like you should be fine but I don't know my skin just doesn't love fragrance and yeah I think that is it for this video I think that's it for all of the products again don't forget to enter the giveaway if you are wanting to win three lip oils they are really pretty colors so don't forget to leave a comment down below on which shade is your favorite and yeah I think that's everything thank you so much for tuning in and thank you so much for watching if you've made it this far please don't forget to subscribe if you want to if you don't that's okay I just really appreciate you being here it helps out my channel so very much by you watching so thank you please leave any video requests you may have in the comments down below and I will see you in my next video. Bye guys!